Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about basic forestry, which basically just means the bare minimum you need to begin this industry. And then I'll have an advanced forestry where I look at the more complicated and complex machinery that will really take your forestry to the next level. So when we look at forestry, we have two types of trees. The one on the left here is one that you probably won't want to touch. The only time you'll ever really remove something like this is if it's in your way, like maybe on your farm, because you can see all the different branches. Those are things you'll have to deal with and break down, and it just becomes a big pain. Plus, you'll see that they're not very straight, and so you just don't get a lot of money for them. So not great for forestry. And then the one on the right is really what you're looking for, because you can tell it's basically a straight trunk easy to break down easy to work with for the most part so what you need um, for sure is a chainsaw which i have here so if you go into tools in the shop and scroll down to chainsaws they're going to cost you a thousand dollars which is not bad at all and um, they're all the same so it doesn't matter which one you get just go ahead and buy a chainsaw and then on the pc you can use your mouse scroll wheel or you can hit the number one uh, the one key and the number of keys will kind of switch between your chainsaws. And then you can rotate it with the right mouse button. If you're not on PC, check your controls in the top left to help you out with those controls. Go up to the tree and you'll want to rotate it as horizontal as possible and then crouch down. So on a PC that is control to crouch and you want to do that so you get as much tree as possible and as little stump left over as possible and then go ahead and just grind it down and it should fall the way you uh, saw through it. So I went from right to left, so it fell to my left. And then you have kind of an optional detail here. You can leave the stump, like if you're sort of doing it in a field like this, or if you um, are on your farm, you can grind it down. Also quick note, that you do need to own the land to chop down trees. So you either have to buy it or do it on your starting farm. Now, if you want to grind down the stump, you can go into packs here and there are there's a wood pack. And you'll see here that forestry mulchers can be used to remove stumps. In the tools section, there should be forestry equipment as well. And you have the same ones and this cheapest one will be just fine for this job. Again, this is completely optional, but if you do want to get rid of the stump, all you do is lower the grinder here on your tractor, turn it on once you are over the stump, and it'll just grind it down. So we'll turn it on, lift it up, and just sort of go at it until it is finished. So go back and forth. Yours will probably not be as difficult as I just made that seem. And now you got to break down the tree so you can get maximum profit. So turn your chainsaw back this way so it's going with the tree and turn it on and just sort of run up and you'll see these little twigs start to disappear. You want to do that just again for profitability and you can see we should be left with basically a single trunk. I have been finding that this game is a little finicky with this part compared to previous or I'm um, just getting worse at this part but it just may take a minute or two but eventually you should be able to get rid of everything for the sake of the video I will move on even though these are still there again if you're doing a tree like this you would have to do that for all those branches and it becomes pretty terrible so um, once you break this down and this is bothering me but that's Again, I, I've been finding this is happening a lot with... There, we did it. Okay, never mind. Works like a charm every time. Now you have two options. Um, again, this is just basic, so if you don't have a lot of money, your two options are you can cut them down to like a small size so that you can pick it up with your hand, or you can buy a log fork for your front loader, and it'll look like this so again you can attach that to a skid steer telehandler wheel loader front loader if you get a tractor that has attachment like i do um, it's all the same tool 
And with that, you can make larger cuts. So maybe I could do something like this, and then I just cut through it. So notice now it's detached. I can't pick it up because it's too heavy, but I can use my log fork. And this part can usually be a little finicky. So I use right mouse to open up the fork. You can see it opening up. And then um, the if I select the right tool, the left mouse will bring it up and down. I like to kind of hover over it like this and then point straight down works for me pretty well. And then I close it as much as possible and then you can do that. I don't know why there's this weird line coming out of it. I feel like that is a bit of a, a bit of a bug, a bit of a glitch, but we'll deal with it. And then you can put this wherever you want. You can take it straight to wherever you want to sell it. You can put it in your tra uh, truck like I'm going to try, though it might not fit. You can put it on a trailer bed. Uh, really just put it somewhere. Um, this is a good one because you can see that it has sides, but even the ones, um, I don't quite remember where they are, but any of these would probably be fine because you just want somewhere to put them and then you can always tie them down. So then you just open up the fork here and you can see it kind of fits if I really wanted I can go attach my belts like always if you don't have the money for uh, this setup then what I do when I first start a game is I'll just cut them really small like this and you just kind of have to get or I just guess and then you can usually just pick them up with your hand you're not gonna make as much money because they're smaller pieces but it goes pretty fast and um, Again, you don't have to buy anything else. So really, you could get away with all this with just a chainsaw, thousand dollars, and you can start breaking down trees. Now, is this gonna affect? No, nope, that's kind of cutting through. That's a weird, a weird bug. So, what do you do with wood? You can sell it. So, if I went here to the sawmill, um, I could sell it, and I'll show you that. I won't quite sell it though, because I'll show you the production chain with it. But if I wanted to sell it, I have to go down here. You have to put it in the square and then you have to actually go hit sell wood and I'll show you that. So you put it in the unload icon. And then if I wanted to sell it, I would go here. You can see in the top left, it says sell wood. I would hit R, it would disappear. I would get some monies and that would be sold. Or you can go into the production chain. So for the production chain, you have the sawmill which will turn it into planks. So I'm actually going to buy it here. And then you can see if you go to sawmill, wood planks, it'll take 60 wood. It'll give you 80 planks and a little bit of wood chips will start to, uh, to pile up. And then with the planks, you can put them into the, and I'll show you in the production menu here. If you just go to construction factories, um, it is way over here. The carpentry. So if you buy the carpentry, you can put the planks or you can just still put wood and it'll make furniture. And the reason you have kind of both options is because it will take more wood to to do. So if I go here to the carpentry and we find the front, we have to buy that as well. You can't do production chains until you buy them. You'll see that it takes 36 wood for 45 furniture. And again, you get a little bit of the, the wood chips left over. Um, and then planks, 50 planks for 70 furniture. Um, so you kind of have a couple options there. And that is what you do with it. Either sell it or put it into your production chains and rinse and repeat. Again, you do have to own the land to chop down trees. And that is sort of the basics of forestry and should be enough to at least get you started. Uh, down this industry. So I hope that helped. Hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.